Hello and welcome to the jungle garden in Denmark. This is just a quick autumn update. Um, as you can see that it is autumn and uh, we had one night just around zero degrees centigrade and that did sort of frost the leaves of the banana plants but they're still pushing up new leaves as you can see it has but it has been thrashed by the wind it's always windy here if we look at another one over here and you can see uh, it's push, pushing out new leaves really impressive but it is very mild for this uh, time of year also the tetrapanax got a bit frosted that night but is still pushing up new shoots in the middle the pavlonia tomatoes has lost all its leaves and now there's only the stem left which does look so pretty but that's just the way it is i have uh, chosen to lift all the cannas and all the colocasias this year and they're in, in, in what we call the plant room because uh, it's not so much because of the cold because we, it's not that cold anymore in the winters but it's really wet and, and they just rot so uh, this time I thought I might as well dig them up and take them indoors even though we're in November the tree fern is still pushing out new fronds. Vecchia japonica is in flower this time of year. The eucalyptus trees are doing really well. They are way taller than me now. Uh, also the one in the back. If I can zoom in a little. As you can see. Uh, the little blue one here. It's not that tall yet, but it is. It has doubled its size since it was planted in April, so so that's okay. And here in the Australian bed, we still haven't dug up the plants that we need to take in because they're not hard enough for a Danish winter. There's the grevillea. They're all marked with a stick so that we can we know which ones they are. The grevillea and the bottle brush and the banksia and uh, the other bottle brush. And it looks like it's going to flower, which is a bit late, I think, but we'll see if it happens. If the temperatures are going to drop down below zero, we'll have to dig them up and take it, take them into the plant room. Because it is so mild, uh, I have left the two cordial lines and the phoenix palm out here. It, it, they don't have to come in just yet. And I've also left the bottle brush out here um, the bananas that normally are in the corner near the the gate they have come inside just in case This is what we call the plant room, which is an empty horse stall, as you can see. Um, and out here is where we keep the plants that are not uh, hard enough to stay outside in winter. This year I have chosen to dig up all the cannas, uh, including the canna musifolia, as you can see here, the, the tall ones, and um, also almost all of the color cages, including pink china. Uh, and that is because they rot. It's not the cold that kills them now a days. It is because our winters are so wet. Um, as you can see, the cannas have been divided, not because I wanted to, but because I haven't got pots big enough for the, for the plants. Uh, they get enormous when they're out in, in the garden and uh, normally I would wait 
and divide them in spring before I plant them out but I just can't do that and um, it went very well last year with the kind of Pretoria as you can see over there so I'm doing it again this year and this is my little greenhouse tent where I keep all the small colocasias they're not big enough to sort of go dormant so um, I keep them here in the tent where there's a heat mat under them uh, I also have the alocasias as you can see over here they were out in the garden but they they're not hard enough to stay out there so I've put them in here for the winter and then I've actually got some Millianthus major that I've grown from seed last year that uh, oh yeah last winter they're the only seeds seeds that actually germinated out uh, of uh, a lot of different kinds of seeds so it's a bit disappointing but I, I hopefully I can keep them alive during the winter I've got a new uh, batch of seeds going in the tent next door I'll show you in here in a minute this is my seed experiment uh, as you can see they're planted in in, in the jiffy bricks I think it's called uh, and uh, that's because last year I tried all sorts of things I planted uh, seeds in jiffy in the jiffy things and uh, in ordinary soil and all sorts of different techniques and the only one that you ones that germinated were the the ones in jiffy in the jiffy bricks so that's what i'm going for this year uh, some of these seeds are really uh, slow to germinate which is normal so i don't know if it's a success or not just yet and because it is so mild the papyrus grass is still outside in the pond um, if it gets frosty I will have to take it indoors normally it, it comes in around October but it's just too warm to do it just yet and uh, that was all for this time thanks for watching